Did you know Google lets you build an entire website for free without writing a single line of code? In this video, I'll show you how to build a Nike style landing page with nothing but Google Sites and a Stripe payment link. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a clean, mobile friendly homepage that showcases your product, looks professional, and is ready to make money. All of this in under five minutes. So let's get started. All right, so first we'll head on to sites.google.com and make sure you're logged into your Google account. Now you see a bunch of pre-made templates here, but I'm going to show you how to build a website from scratch. So just click on the blank option and name your website. You can use your own product or brand name here. Now, before we touch this page, let's clean up the settings a bit. So click on the gear icon, then under navigation, set it to top. So your menu stays above your content. Scroll down to brand images and then upload your logo like this and your favicon. Now, the favicon is this little icon that shows up at the top of the browser window when somebody's on your site, in case you didn't know. Now, close the settings window and we are now ready to start designing our page. So let's start with that classic Nike hero section with like a bold heading and a call to action and the hero image, right? So click header type and select large banner and upload your main product photo. So I'm using a shot of the Air Max against a clean background. Once that loads, edit the title text then under that, add a short subheading. Now let's add a buy now button. Click on insert in the right hand panel and then paste it in your Stripe payment link. Now, if you don't have this yet, you can create a simple payment page on stripe.com. It's free and takes just a minute. And I'll leave a link to go and do that in the description below. Now click insert, then center align your button and stretch the width until it matches the layout. You can also drag it underneath your heading if needed. Now to finish this section, add a spacer above and below the button to give everything some breathing room. Now scroll down, we're going to add a section that highlights the three key features of the product. So in the insert panel, find the content block section and select the three column layout. Then click on each image box to upload a simple photo. Now for this walkthrough, I'm using it for the air sole cushioning, lightweight fit and the timeless style. So click on each image box to upload a simple photo now I am uploading these three photos like this and then underneath each image, edit the text and keep it tight like all day comfort or this and all right. Now the goal is to sell the product with clarity, not clutter. So now take a few seconds to adjust the spacing or font size, but don't overthink it, right? Simplicity is also good. That's what Nike is famous for. All right, next we're going to create a section for the brand story. So click insert and then add a new text box, type in a short heading like this. Below that, add a brief paragraph that tells the story. All right, okay, basically put some text here. Now, center the text, and if you want to add some visual contrast, click the section background, choose a soft gray, or you can even click upload and put in a light texture. Now, scroll to the bottom, and this is where we're going to add the footer. So click insert and choose a three column layout design. Now in the left box, upload a small version of your logo. Now in the center box, we're gonna type in your support email and to make this clickable, we will select the email text, click on the link icon and type like this. Okay, now in the right box, add one or two social links like Instagram or Twitter. And if you want icons, you can upload those as tiny images here. So like this, all right. Now, below that, add a text box. Now, keep everything minimal, centered, and mobile friendly like this. So, time to go live. Click the preview icon at the top. Now, this lets you view the site on desktop and mobile. So, you can scroll through, make sure all of your layout is good, adjust some things, and make sure the spacing is right. Now, click exit preview and hit publish. Then, pick a unique site name, something like this, and hit publish again. So, next to the publish button, there's a drop down. You can select view publish site. And as you can see, you have a clean product focused website. It's working perfectly and all of this is free. And there's also a button which people can click on and then go to the checkout page and place an order. Now, if you want to use any of this stuff, I link all of it in the description below and I'll see you in the next one.